Hi everybody, my name is Sarah and this is Pearls of Wisdom and Food with Keto. And most of this clan here, this tribe, has been here a long time. You might have been a young woman when you started to watch me and now you're an old gray mare like me. Ha! Anyway, this, is, this channel is for those of us that struggle with weight, that consider themselves foodie, that are addicted to sugar, carbs, and food. <laughs> Give me all three, please, and put it on a plate, a fiesta plate, right, Bethany? Anyway, here we are, and we're doing what we're doing, and it's a day-to-day -day thing, one day at a time. My little tips and tricks are just what work for me, holding on to my losses and just doing what I do. You know, I'm, 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 a, I'm no saint, but I do practice keto for the most part. And so I'm here to share that with you. You know, I accept life on life's terms. There's times that I enjoy things that aren't keto, but when I put in my foods into my chronometer every day, it's the keto basics, right? It's the foundation. It's like the eggs, the meat, the ghee, the butter, things like that. And on the other side of the eating, the chewing, as Kim would say, I find that the clean intermittent fasting is really my miracle drug of choice. It's just what worked for me. It was like kind of sort of good, and it was all the time that I was doing OMAD and, and intermittent fasting. But when I added the clean, and I know that there's other videos out there of clean intermittent fasters because I listen to them. So if you go into the YouTube and up above here where it says search, put clean IF or clean intermittent fasting, and you'll find some people that practice what I say and they've been successful with maintaining their weight or getting to their weight. I think that the the magic part is over there in having nothing but black coffee and nothing but plain water, no flavors. Bye-bye flavors, bye-bye sweeteners, bye-bye whiteners, bye-bye all of that, just plain. And um, some person that's above my pay grade and in intelligence was talking about how we don't have the we don't have the insulin spike with what's considered the, f the flavor of bitter. And so when you have a black coffee, when you have plain water, you're not getting an insulin drop because, or a blood sugar spike, whatever it is, that however you word it. <laughs> and so I just don't want any insulin because the fat thing stops, the fat burning stops and insulin can cause you to gain weight. In fact, some of the people that I honor and admire and respect the most talk about it. It's insulin, especially um, Dr. Um, Ram, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I can't think of his name right now. Um, but anyway, he is, he is somebody that I listen to about clean fasting. He is great, and it's insulin, 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 and he's a cardiologist. And so, um, there you go. He will promote clean intermittent fasting as well. So, you know, I, I consider myself a success seeing that I'm almost 72, and I'm still here, and I'm still able to do videos and maintain my weight. You know, I have my slippery moments, but it's never when I'm clean intermittent fasting. And, and that's the part that I like to promote here. Um, so what do I do? Well, I wake up in the morning and I have my Just Black Please coffee. Yes, it took a while to get to it. Yes, I know many, many, many of you that hold on to that either artificial sweetener or that milk in your coffee or whatever it is, you hold on to that and you have that all during the day. But you have to say to yourself, if I'm still having either that artificial sweetener or the flavored coffees and the flavored waters and ain't nothing been happening on the scale, even though in my OMAD, you know, it's a success, you might want to try that. You know, we are all, we are all an experiment of just one, what works for us. 
what works for me and the other clean intermittent fasters that I listen to, you know, is, is what I, what I tout, you know, all of that. And it works for me, but it might not work for you, or you might not need to do that because you're right where you are with your weight and you're happy. But I know for me, it was that sniggly part and it just didn't feel, I don't know, clean. And now that it is, I'm excited and I like to talk about that part because to me, that was like the tie it up in a big red bow or big gold bow or something. And so I just like to share with you. And if it hasn't, if you have, if you've dismissed it right away, like, <laughs> you know, I've been want to do that. Dismiss it right away without even trying and having an opinion. And, you know, I don't admire that in other people that dismiss, like how many people dismiss keto if you ever bring it up? Here's a suggestion. Don't bring it up. Just, I just follow this food plan and this is what I do. You say that word and it's like politics and abortion. You shouldn't say it because it just brings out other people's opinions. And it's like, oh, I don't think I asked for your opinion on that. But anyway, I digress. What works for me is clean intermittent fasting and my OMAD. And when I feast, I feast. I have what I want. I have the amounts that I want. And it just ends up one big hearty meal. You know, I'm like the farmer that came in after being out in the hot sun on his tractor all day making bales of hay, you know, just, you know, I don't, I don't like to get hangry, but sometimes I do because I wait for my husband to come home from work and get ready. But that's the only reason why. I mean, when I'm out in public, you know, I'm, I'm pretty appropriate still. And, um, you know, I, I get ready for it. Some people say they only eat when they're hungry. I'm not one of those. I'm one of those. I like my meal when I like it. I'll do all the clean intermittent fasting over here for the 23 hours. And on that 24th hour between 2 and 4 p.m. in the afternoon, I want my feast. That's how I get. And I want it. And I, I just eat until I'm done. And then I'm done girly. You know, many of you know that about me. I go to the bathroom and I do my um, dental hygiene. Good night. You're done eating. I floss. I brush. All that good stuff. And my body knows it's done. It's done. Once you do it for a long enough time, your body has like adjusted to it. There's other people that like to surprise their body with different times of fast. They, they believe that if you do the same thing every single day, the same time frame, that your body will get used to it and it won't give you the results. That hasn't been my experience, but maybe it is for some other people. Comment below on what works for you. If you feel you are working something and it's working for you, come on, tip the cats. Share with us what works. Anyway, my name is Sarah and this is Pearls of Wisdom and Food with Keto. And as you, as you can tell, I'm dressed. I have to go to work. But I just wanted to add another video to the library. Thanks so much for watching. I couldn't do this without you, and I don't plan to. See you the next time. Bye-bye for now.